Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for using the LSP Santa Hand Elements Christmas Special. These are PNG files, that means they're transparent apart from the hand, that you can just literally drag and drop over your image for an instant hit of Santa magic. You can use these in all image editing software, but I'm going to be demoing in Photoshop Creative Cloud. So let's get started. So first of all, you will need to download the Santa Hand Elements PNG files from the LSP Actions website after purchase, or you can grab these in your account or via your email. Download it and you will notice it is a zipped file. This means all the um, images are compressed and zipped into this one folder for easy download. If you're on Windows, you can right click Extract All. If you're on a Mac, you can use the Archive Utility. If you have any problems extracting, you can simply go onto Google and pop in your operating system and how to extract zip files and you'll find all the information on there with what to do. They will extract and open up into a separate normal folder here. So go ahead and open this up and you will see eight um, PNG files. The backgrounds may appear black or white depending on how your computer renders these, but when you add them in um, using Photoshop, the background will be transparent. So let's go ahead and get started with adding these onto an image. So open up your image in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to demo with this lovely image by Anna Brand. This little girl so cute. The Santa element images were shot with the light facing Santa. So he needs to be facing whichever direction your light is coming from for a realistic touch. And come up here to File, choose Place Embedded and locate the Santa element that you wish to add in. Let's go for this one, shall we? So I'm going to double click that and it will place him in. You can see how he's transparent. Let's just pop him in here. Make sure you size him realistically. And when you're done, hit enter. Now you can add additional editing layers to Santa if you need to darken down any areas, brighten anything up or change the color. And you can do that by coming down here onto your adjustment um, layer menu. Open this up and choose um, anything you'd like to add to edit Santa. I'm going to choose a color balance layer because I'd like to change the, um, the tones and the colors just to match the image a little better. Right now, if I make adjustments to the color balance settings here, it's going to change um, the whole image. So right click and choose create a clipping mask and that will make sure it clips it only to the center here and it will not change anything else on your background layer. So I'm going to choose highlights from the drop down because I want to change the highlights in center, the beard and the hands. I'm going to pull the tones a little into the yellows, a little away from the purples and a little into the pinks just to match the tones a little more in this image. Now you can see here there's some haloing um, around here because these were shot on a mid-tone background so if you're um, compositing these into a darker image you may wish to add um, some darkening. If you're compositing them into a very very white image you may wish to add some lightening. So click on Santa, come down here um, to the adjustments again and choose a levels layer. This is automatically clipped in but if it doesn't again right click and choose clipping mask. I'm just going to darken this down a little. I'm, I'm looking at this area right now. And you can darken specifically without contrast by moving this lower right if you need to. Hold down Control or Command and hit I to invert this. That means it's hidden now. The effect is completely hidden. Grab a brush. Make sure you're on white and you can start painting this in. Add this into any way you wish to add the shadows and the darkness to. And you can use a black brush to paint it away from anywhere you don't wish it to show. That's before and after with the levels and the colour balance on there. And you can add more editing layers if you want to. You just need to click centre and make sure that they're clipped in. And all the adjustments here, you've got so many options to choose from. Um, and you can tweak and change centre to your heart's content. You can add blur, you can add sharpness, you can do whatever you like to change these to make sure that they suit your image. So that is how to use the file place embedded option to pop the Santa hand elements into your image over the top and edit using adjustment layers. Now I'm going to show you another way you can do this that's actually even easier and this is by using the libraries option. 
You can do this if you're using Photoshop Creative Cloud. If you're using earlier versions, um, you may not be able to do this, unfortunately. But if you've got Creative Cloud, keep watching because I'm going to show you something awesome. Now let me open up another image to demo with for this one. I'm going to show you with this gorgeous little newborn shot by Amy Jo at Dinky Days Photography. So come up here to Window and choose Libraries. And the Libraries will open up as a separate panel. Like this. I like to drag the libraries up here um, into the layers panel next to layers so they're easy to access. Choose the little plus create new library and let's call it Santa Hand Elements. Ooh, it would help if I could type and hit create. And what's going to happen is you're going to get this blank box here. So come off Photoshop, open your, um, your file manager kind of independently and locate the Santa Hand Elements um, unzipped images that you've unzipped on your computer. What you need to do is select them all, drag and drop them here onto your library, not onto your image, onto your library. And what that's going to do is load them into the Photoshop cloud so you can drag and drop and access them whenever you need. So now all you need to do is come here on your library, you can view them all, decide which one you want, drag it and drop it onto your image, just like that. Super simple. Hit enter and now you can come back onto your layers by clicking on the layers panel. You can view your libraries anytime by just changing the file folders up here. And again you can add adjustment layers to edit. So I've clicked down here on adjustments. I'm going to choose color balance, right click create clipping mask to make sure it only affects the center elements. Again, I'm going to choose highlights, add quite a bit of warmth, take some of the purple out, click back on center. I'm going to add levels now. This is automatically clipped in because it's under the color balance layer. If it hasn't clipped in, you can right click and choose create clipping mask again if you need to. I'm going to darken these midtones down a little. and darken overall, I think, by pulling this bottom right slider in. You can add a hue and saturation layer and you can play with the overall hue. You can warm it by pulling it to the right or you can redden it by pulling it to the left. Whatever suits your own personal white balance there. You can use a black brush on these to hide any of the effects, for example the levels here. I'm just going to take the flow down a little. May add another levels now. I can just add them in because I know they're going to clip directly to centre. Control or Command I um, to invert completely to black and then you can use a white brush to show the effect if you want to. And so on. You can add contrast, you can take the contrast down, you can select these, Control or Command T, and you can carry on moving Santa if you need to. You can change the focus on Santa too by coming down here, clicking on Santa and coming up to filter blur, Gaussian blur, and you can blur him, you can blur elements of him if you wanted to add some blur like this. Hit OK. And it will come up down here as another white box. You can control or command I and paint this just on a little if you want to. You can do the same with sharpening. You can basically um, add any editing you need to um, to make Santa's hand fit with your image. before and after that. So let's go ahead and open one more image um, and I will show you a little bit more about this blur technique. This image is by Anna Brandt. Isn't it gorgeous? So cute. So again you could use file place embedded. You can copy and paste, you can drag and drop, you can you choose whichever method you want to get these um, Santa hand elements in. I'm going to go back on the libraries and choose one. Let's go for the snow globe. So drag and drop. These Santas were shot by Anna Brandt. Can you spot the similarities here? 
So I want Santa kind of coming in from the front here um, rather than from the side. I think this arm looks really works really well. But I'm going to recreate the depth of field a little bit for this one. So back on the layers, filter, blur, or you can go to the blur gallery. Let's do a field blur. If you can change the blur up here. Field blur, um, if you're outdoors, is much more believable um, than a Gaussian blur. And hit OK. And what this will do, it will pop it onto its separate layer underneath Santa and you can um, paint black to hide and white to show on the layer mask provided here. So grab your brush, choose black, and I'm just going to paint that off this area here. So we've really got that depth of field coming in now with Santa. And again, you can add adjustment layers to edit this. So let's go again for the colour balance, create a clipping mask onto the highlights, adapt them a little more for outdoors, so we want a little more green and yellow in there. Back on Santa, I'm going to add um, a levels now, darken him down a little. I'm using a black brush, I'm just going to paint that off this area here. And that's it. So before and after there. So let's just do one more. So this beautiful image is by Anna Brandt. So I'm going to go up here to the libraries. Again, you can use file, place embedded and locate the Santa hand um, element you would like to pop in. But I just love the libraries. It's so easy to just drag and drop. And then if you don't like it, you can delete and choose a different one. So which one shall we use? Let's try uh, this one here. So drag and drop him in. Position, rotate if you want to. And hit enter. Back on your layers panel. Again, you can add a color balance, clipping mask. You can change highlights, midtones, and shadows if you want to, to match the scene a little more. So play around with those. Color balance is a pretty powerful tool in Photoshop. Click on Santa, add levels, curves, whichever your kind of preferred method um, of editing is. And again, you can use a black brush or a white brush to show and hide. And you can carry on moving Santa if you want to. Entirely up to you. And once you've added Santa in, if you decide you want to try a different one, you can just turn him off. You can place another one or you can come back here on your libraries and choose a different one drag and drop it in, resize. The snow globes are cool because look, you can see through them. So resize the suit. Again, add, um, add your editing layers on there. If you're unsure of what the tones should look like, look for um, similar tones in your image. For example, here on the newborn's bonnet, you can see the whites are creamier. So as that color balance or the hue and saturation set to highlights and just uh, tweak and change to match. So there we have before and after. So easy to add, so easy to edit. So that is the LSP Santa Element Hands, and that's available at www.lsp-actions.com. You can download these right away and add them to all your images to create that little bit of Santa magic. You can get the Santa's Hand Elements drag and drop um, files from www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.